So today I'll be talking about transmission line distance protection relay. This is the type of the relay, Anston relay, uh, of means of in distance protection. Uh, if we look at on the single line diagram, we have transmission line between A to B and one relay with its city current transformer, VT voltage transformer, and two circuit breaker, circuit breaker one and two, where the fault is located at around 75% of the line. And of course, the, the ZF is the fault impedance that is calculated by the voltage divided by the current during the shock circuit scenarios. But to understand how the relay or the distance relay is configured or um, uh, works, we need to understand why it is called distance protection in the first instance. One of the reasons is because the impedance of the transmission line is directly proportional to its length, meaning that when the line length is increased, the impedance of the transmission line is increased as well. So that's the reason why it's called distance protection. So that a distance relay measures the ratio of the voltage and the current. So when there is a fault, it measures the ratio of the voltage and the current that is called apparent impedance between the relay location and the fault point. So it just calculated between the fault and where the relay is located. Then it compares with the, the measure, it compares the measured value with the reference value. And it operates when the measured impedance is smaller than the reference value or the actual value, because it, this indicates the voltage within the reference zone. There are different uh, uh, operating characteristics of distance relay, such as impedance, reactance, and impedance, and offset uh, represent uh, the, um, the shares based on the application we'll discuss in the next slide. There are the common types of the zone setting or the distance zone settings are zone one, zone two, zone three, and also zone four and reverse blocking. So if you look at the single line diagram on here, we have a relay, and then we have three zones. Zone one, zone two, zone three. Three times for each zone is zero second, zero point five second, and, and one second. And then of course zone one is at eight percent. And so it's at 50% of the next line. But we'll let we'll discuss later more in detail why we choose like this. And now if we look at the shapes, more shapes on here. This is all more shapes. Well, we just put the line between A to B is this one. And then we cover up 80%. So that we cover 80% of this one. So this is 80%, so around 20% is gap. So we're not touching D. So everything within this box, within this circle, the relay must operate in zone one time instantaneously. This is the zone is up to 50% of the next line. So between B, C. If you look on this one, or zone two, it is at 50% between B to C. So 50% is around here. Properly, for anything within this coverage, the relay should provide three time at a three time of 0 0.5 second. And zone three, obviously, after 50 percent of between line C to D, at 50 percent of line between C to D, so somewhere around here. One of the exceptions is if we look at we have offset, so we have gap. So, in this circle, instead of starting from A, like the other two, it just Stand behind a 10% of this line. So, this is the region of operation in all in the circle area. But if the fault is outside of the circle, then the relay is not expected to provide operation. And this is just on a generic um, um, second. Um, zone 1 is 80 to 85% of line AP and the 2 times 0 second, and zone 2 is. 100% of this one plus 50% of this one in three times of 0 0.5 second. Zone 3 is obviously 250 times uh, line A. Is, it should be AP. So 100% plus 100% plus 50% of this one. It should be line AP. Sorry. 
uh, three times of one second, and then the offset is 10% of line AB. So 10% of this one is extended behind the relay. Just on here. So another uh, shape is using quadrilla arteria. This is just a better option for resistive coverage because you can go like a bit down here, more resistive on the R section. That this goes more above the R except the zone three. But the, the zone the zone two, for example, it could if we use this one, it could just go down slightly from to here, but on here it doesn't go down much further than this one, just stop on it, but like this is the shape now. Okay, zone one, zone two, zone three, the same application. If, for example, this is 100 kilometer each line. Yeah. But the question is, how do we consider the zone one at what percent, zone two at what percent, and zone three? How do we do this zone setting coordination? What are the, the reasons for our shipping configuration? One of the reasons for zone one, for example, is zone one should ideally cover 100% of line A to B. But because we have errors that is caused by CT, VT, relay, or line parameters, or added up to 20%. So we can set zone one up to 80 to 85% of the relay. For motor relay, we can set up to 85% because they are less, um, they are more accurate. The operating time is also uh, a zero second, but actually, it is around 30 milliseconds because the relay needs some time to be energized to treat. The soil to control uh, protects uh, between these two so that 100% of line AB plus around 25% of the next line, or sometimes up to 50% of the next line. Of course, the the time grading is a combination of uh, zone one plus a circuit breaker time, distance relay, reset time, errors of the internal relay timer and set mile. So this all added around 500 milliseconds or between 300 to 600 milliseconds. 500 milliseconds normally exercised by national grid, for example. And the zone three is used for backup even, uh, but it's provided at the operation after the lead time, one second, the longer time. So ideally we expect zone one to default covered by zone one or zone two, but then if not, we should provide the backup. Okay. So the zone three setting is 100% of this one plus the next line plus uh, 25 to the 50% of the, the third line or have a different uh, options like 125 up to 1. 150 times the longest I just said feeder. Okay. So, for example, in this case, we'll see some example calculation or setting calculation. So, I think we have a, a transmission line, and each line has a state impedance in our home. So, if we set to more 8%, what we can do is just multiply this by 8%, that'd be 8 ohm. And then the zone to 150% of line AB, but they have the same increment, so that 50, so that 100% plus 50%, so that n plus 5 is 50 at, 100, at 500 millisecond trip time. And zone 3 is 250% of line AB, so that 25 ohm, let's check it, 100% plus 100% plus 50%, uh, plus 50 so that is 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 5 is 25. Okay, what we can do is this set setting needs to be uh, inserted into the relay. However, these are uh, primary settings, so that we need to convert this into secondary, so that we need to divide the settings by the ratio of CT to VT. It's expected less or smaller than that. If we look at on, uh, another example of this uh, uh, network with the different line lengths, then the zone one is obviously 80% of the line AB, but the zone two will be 100% uh, of line AB plus percent of the shortest adjustment line, is 50% of the line uh, the PC. 
And zone three is the most popular. We need to carefully select. For example, if we select 100% of line AB plus 105% of line BE, which is BE, we will have a problem. Because if we have a 100 kilometer plus 125 kilometer, because 100 times 1.25 is 125, then it will cover 100 plus 125 is 225. How about if we set low two into that area? 100 plus 1.25 of 20 is uh, 25, so 25 plus 100, 125 of oh, a kilometer. So on this case, we'll have 225, but on this case, we'll have 125. That is mismatch. So we need to look at the different scenarios. So that on here, what we can do is 100% of line AB plus 100% of line BE, which is this one. Then we can add the 50% of the next one here. So that it will be uh, no problem. So um, if we look at now the zone three reverse, obviously fifty percent of line A B, but we just extend it behind. So if we look at, for example, on a uh, two comparison on here, this is four hundred twenty-five kilometer on here. Sorry, B on here. Okay, that's overage problem because the total line length is two hundred ten. If we count the total is 100 plus 120, 200 plus 10 is 110. But if we apply this plus 125 times this one, it will be 225. That is more than the total line is. That's a problem. So what we do is with the second option. So that the total line is will be 205 kilometers. That is the Zanis total uh, kilometer. We can also do this option. I would, I, would, I would go through that way, but we can also go this way. 100% of this one plus 100% of this one plus 50% of this one. So that will be 100 plus 220 is 120 plus 40, then uh, 160. However, the problem is this is a longest line. So for the zone three, we have to look the longest axis line. Okay, so that twin will need to look at this one to have a better coverage. So in conclusion, this transportation is designed to protect transportation or distribution line and operated when the measured impedance falls below the actual transmission line or impedance of the line. Obviously, that relay is not often applied in distribution uh, uh, systems because the primary protection is over that protection in this distribution system. Well, this satellite has a time step zone coordination to provide adequate protection for each zones. And zone one is normally set 85% of the first line or the main line. That is because of the errors. And zone three is up to 125 to 150% of the, uh, the protect line plus or 100% of the protest line plus 25 to 50% of the existing line and those really don't show 250 of the protected line if each line has the same uh, line links or 100% of the protected line plus 125% of the existing line. Again, if this is different, then we can just 100% plus 100% plus 50% of the third line. Well, the operating characteristics of distance relay Includes impedance, admittance, or stiff, depending on the application. For example, Mohori is normally used, but if quadrilateral check is to be used, it will be uh, good for uh, restive coverage. Uh, or if rapid is there, shift, then it will prevent the zone three malabsorption from uh, loading conditions. Thank you for listening.